At one point, it was rumored that we would get Balor and Brock for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. At one point, it was scheduled for Great Balls of Fire and all these other pay-per-views. They didn't happen. It was scheduled for a Survivor Series, but they went with Raw versus SmackDown instead. And at one, then it was pushed back to Royal Rumble, and it doesn't look like we're getting it now, because why would you have him lose to Joe on Raw? So, who do you think Brock's next opponent for the Universal Championship will be, David? Do you think Balor has a chance of getting back on track before the show so we could face the Beast? Uh, I don't see it happening, no. I, I don't see it happening, and I, I, I don't... As much as I love Ben Balor, and I, as much as I love Brock Lesnar, I also don't want to see that pairing... That pairing scares me much more than the AJ Styles Brock Lesnar pairing because even though AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar were able to do what they did, I feel like AJ Styles is not viewed as. I mean, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the biggest fish in the pond, but I feel like in management's eyes and in perceptions eyes of most fans and in most fans' perceptions, he's not quite a cruiserweight, he's more like a middleweight, like heavyweight, you know, he's built at 215 pounds, 218 pounds or so, so he's more of like, you could get away with it, and he has those, you know, moves where you could get away with it, and he could, and they look like they're painful, but I feel like Finn Balor, it would be viewed and perceived as the cruiserweight, underdog, undersized guy facing the beast, and I feel like they would be more willing in going the direction of Finn Balor being squashed. And I'm afraid of that if he faces Lesnar. So I wouldn't want to see it. I, I think for Lesnar, it's tough to say because, you know, they want to keep him away from Reigns. We've seen him face Seth Rollins. Him and Dean Ambrose could have been a classic, but they squandered it. I, I never quite get what happened with that. But if they were to somehow magically revisit that, that the Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar, that that would be something unpredictable and creative. And um, yeah, I think Dean Ambrose could be a, a, a very su- suitable opponent. Obviously, we know he can't win, but I guess I guess hate how their first program together and right? and I, I think they're better than that. They both of them are definitely way better than that that they showed in there initial storyline I enjoyed the storyline just the match wasn't as good as it probably should have been I mean I enjoyed the match too to an extent but yeah I completely agree that they probably had a lot more in the tank than what they delivered at Wrestlemania and Ambrose is free I mean unless they regain the Raw Tag Team title soon and he could be a viable opponent for Brock him or Seth Rollins hey they could do Brock and Roman of the Royal Rumble I highly doubt it but you never know I guess I would prefer you know I would rather have it at the Rumble just get it over with there (laughs) 